What if the next big thing in tech isn't a phone or a computer? What if it's a revolutionary AI device born from a massive $6.5 billion deal between OpenAI and Joni Ive, the design genius behind the iPhone? Get ready, because they're building something completely new, something that could change how we interact with AI forever. Okay, so what exactly is this? It's being called the OpenAI-IO device, and it's the direct result of OpenAI's massive $6.5 billion acquisition of Joni Ive's hardware startup, IO, back in May 2025. Think of it as a screen-free, ambient AI companion. It's designed not to replace your phone or laptop, but to be a third core device that provides continuous, contextual AI assistance throughout your day. It's rumored to be small, maybe like an old iPod shuffle, worn around the neck, listening and seeing the world with you. In this video, we're going to break down everything we know about this ambitious project. Why it's such a huge bet for OpenAI and what it could mean for the future of technology. So, how did this ambitious project even come about? Well, it started with a powerhouse partnership. OpenAI made its largest acquisition ever. Buying Joni Ive's hardware startup called I.O. for a staggering $6.5 billion in an all-stock deal. This brought together Sam Altman, the head of OpenAI, and Joni Ive, the legendary designer behind iconic Apple products like the iPhone and iPad. Their collaboration wasn't just a business arrangement. It reportedly grew out of friendship and a shared vision. They quickly realized that to truly achieve what they wanted, they needed to build something entirely new. That's why Evit had actually founded I.O. about a year prior with a team of former Apple design veterans. Ive himself described the project as a new design movement, finding the work with Altman profound. This acquisition wasn't just about money. It was about merging OpenAI's AI brainpower with Ivy's unparalleled design and hardware expertise to create something truly revolutionary. So, what did this powerful duo set out to create? The vision is a device called OpenAI, IO, and its design principles are pretty radical. First off, it's planned to be completely screen-free, no display. It's also described as pocket-sized, though some reports suggest a neck horn design. Maybe similar to an old iPod shuffle, equipped with microphones and cameras to be contextually aware of everything around you. Sam Altman calls it a third core device meant to exist alongside your smartphone and laptop, not replace them. And that's a crucial point. They've been very clear. This is not a smartphone replacement. It's not a pair of glasses, and it's not a traditional wearable like a pin. The whole idea is to create smoother human AI interactions, providing ambient, continuous assistance without you constantly needing to look at a screen. It's about weaning us off that constant phone reliance. And these aren't just small ambitions. Sam Altman has set an incredibly aggressive target. Shipping 100 million of these devices, he wants to hit that number faster than any company has shipped. 100 million of anything before. Even faster than the iPhone reached that milestone. The timeline is equally ambitious, aiming for a potential launch by late 2026 with mass production kicking off in 2027. This project is being kept under extremely tight wraps, suggesting OpenAI believes they're on to something truly revolutionary that they don't want competitors copying just yet. But achieving such ambitious targets means they're re-entering a market that's already seen its share of ups and downs. We've seen devices like the Humane AI Pin and the Rabbit R1 get a lot of hype, but then face issues like overheating, connectivity problems, high prices, or just feeling unfinished. On the flip side, there have been quieter wins, like AI being integrated into existing things. Think Meta's smart glasses or the new AI PCs. So, for the OpenAI IO device to succeed, it's got some major hurdles to clear. The big ones, battery life and heat management. Packing powerful AI into a small niche, potentially wearable device without it getting hot or dying quickly is tough, something the Humane Pin struggled with. Then there's pricing. It needs to be accessible, 
not like the high-cost Apple Vision Pro that limits who can buy it. And critically, privacy. A device that's potentially always listening and watching raises serious concerns that they LL need to address head-on. Despite those challenges, the vision here is about something bigger. Ambient AI. Think of it as intelligence that's just there. Passively available, not requiring you to constantly pull out a screen. To make that work, the device will likely use an Edge Plus cloud hybrid model, handling simple tasks instantly on the device itself. The Edge and tapping into OpenAI's powerful cloud AI for more complex stuff. What could make this truly useful? Imagine features like a real-time memory assistant reminding you of someone's name, or a seamless translator for conversations. This partnership, combining OpenAI's leading AI models with Joni Ive's legendary design and user experience focus, is uniquely positioned to potentially deliver the first truly essential ambient AI gadget. So, the OpenAI AI device is shaping up to be a screen-free ambient AI companion aiming to be that third core device. It's a big swing to change how we interact with AI and potentially reduce screen time. What do you think? Is this the future? Let me know in the comments below and forget to like and subscribe for more tech deep dives. Thanks for watching.